So the next part in the workup, uh, this would be what you would be doing at the, at the very beginning of day two. It's the recrystallization. The reason this step is necessary is because that yellowish solid that we had is actually a mixture of the para and the ortho uh, product. And to separate them, we're going to take advantage of the fact that they're different in um, polarity. So this one has more groups kind of on this end, whereas this one's kind of more uh, spaced out. So this one's going to be more polar compared to this one. So we're going to take advantage of that by using a polar solvent. Um, we're going to use ethanol. So what, that, what that's going to do is because light dissolves light, the polar molecule will be soluble in solution. So it'll just be floating out of here. And then our non-polar one will precipitate out as a solid, and we'll be able to get a mass for this. Um, after the recrystallization, what we're going to do to isolate this is just a simple distillation. Um, we're just going to heat it, and ethanol will come off, and then we'll just be left with this. So we're going to start this recrystallization by adding about 20 or 30 mils of this ethanol to this Erlenmeyer flask. So we have added every thing, crude compound here and we'll go with a slow stirring so that we can dissolve all the crude compound here. Once it will be dissolved everything we have to cool in the ice bath for recrystallization. So we dissolved the product in ethanol, uh, we let it stir and put some heat on it for a while, um, everything's pretty dissolved. Also uh, we're finally taking out the stir bar, um, all the product that was kind of stuck on it, finally it got dissolved. So it is safe to take that out without losing any product. Um, now for the recrystallization, we're just going to let this cool um, slowly to like room temperature and then we're going to cool it to about zero degrees in the ice. So we'll just let this sit until it's about room temp. So once it will be cooled down at room temperature, then we will put it in the ice? Yes. Yeah, you don't want to you don't want to cool it too quickly or else you can trap um, some of your uh, ortho product okay. in your solid. So we have set the reaction mixture in the ice for about five or ten minutes. Um, it's pretty cool now. We're gonna say that the re recrystallization is complete. So now what we have to do is do this vacuum filtration to separate out our solid, which is the para uh, bromonitrobenzene, from the liquid, which is going to be the ortho uh, bromonitrobenzene. So first we're going to add our filter paper, connect our vacuum. So this is our second vacuum filtration in this workup. So because the product is very fine and kind of powdery, you want to make sure none of it can slip underneath. So you want to wet the filter paper before you start using the same liquid that it's going to be uh, filtered with. So just kind of get it wet. That's just to get a good seal so that uh, nothing slips underneath. Cool. So we're just going to go ahead and add everything in. And 
here we have mother liquor in the bottom so we have to do simple distillation of this mother liquor to get the para nitro bromomene right um yeah to get that to get the ortho so up here is the para and then down here is the ortho so we'll uh we'll heat the ethanol and it'll just evaporate away and we'll be left with uh, the ortho product. So we'll leave this on vacuum for a minute just to kind of suck it dry. Make sure we get all of the ethanol out. So now that we've done our vacuum filtration, we're going to take the para product from the top and put it onto this watch glass. We're going to set this watch glass in the oven to make sure we get it completely dry, get all the ethanol out, and so we can get an accurate mass. So we'll stick that in the oven so that we can weigh it out later. For our mother liquors, which is what came out of the uh, vacuum filtration, we're going to uh, put this in a simple distillation apparatus, um, put some heat on it, and then the ethanol should boil away and then we'll be left with just this in our round bottom glass. So we are keeping this uh, into oven for 10 minutes to dry it. So this is mother liquor going for distillation. And here is our mother liquor simple distillation assembly make sure once you set up the assembly don't move these clamps better use the jack to move up and down so this will be the good way now we are going to start heating so here you can see distillation is working right now and we are getting here pure ethanol so we'll keep distilling until we'll see very small amount of leftover. It will be like a brown oil for ortho nitro bromo benzene. And uh, meanwhile we have to weigh our para nitro beno benzene product. Now it's time to weigh the product. This is still hot. You have to be careful. weigh this with paper and then we have to subtract the paper and boat so here our distillation has been done we have removed distillation assembly and here you can see this uh, brown oil is residue is there so let's see how much what is the volume we got it about 1.2 milliliters 1.2 ml yeah okay cool. all right 
So this is all of the data that we got um, for this reaction. Uh, the mass we got, as you saw from the earlier clip, was 3.238 grams. Uh, our filter paper weighed 0.187 grams. So you'll find uh, the mass of just the product. Um, same thing on, for the ortho side. Um, you'll need to find how many grams per in 1.2 milliliters of the ortho product. Um, that'll be your actual yield. And then you'll need to calculate the theoretical yield and percent yield on your own and include it in your lab report.